That means you're also gonna mess up turn three in a straight line. Now it does look unnatural because even champions have smashed into this wall. That's how difficult this wall is. Welcome guys to another one of my track guides on F122. This time I'll be taking you around Canada where I'll be showing you guys a slow lap with some details and also showing you my telemetry as well. And then I'll show you guys a quick lap so that you can see how to tackle the circuit in real time. So let's get straight into this track guide. Okay, so as we're starting a lap here at Canada, it's a very quick uh, lap around this circuit. So you want to be in the middle of the track and then bring yourself over to the left. And then right as you get to the 100 meter board, that's when you want to start breaking. You want to make sure you're in a straight line so that you don't end up locking up going into this corner. Because if you mess this corner up, that means you're also going to mess up turn two, which means you're going to lose a bunch of time. So you want to make sure that you don't lock up here. So straight line uh, into this corner, fourth gear, and then you want to use as much of the curb as possible. So pretty much up until the grass. And then for this next corner, you can stay in fourth gear for this corner. Uh, in my lap, personally, I did shift down into third and then shift right back up to fourth. So you want to stay as close to this curb as possible. Short shift up to fourth gear and then start to get the power down. Now, you would think that since this is uphill, it should be easier to get the power down. Um, but it's not. It's very tricky uh, in this section. So you do want to be quite uh, patient and smooth with your inputs going into or coming out of that corner, I should say. So this next corner now, uh, I believe you'll be in 6th or 7th gear coming into it. 75 meters is where you want to just soft brake, flick the car in. 5th gear for this corner and then you want to use as much of the curb as possible. Basically have your left hand tires on just the inside of the white line there. And then for this next section you want to have the same but with your right hand tires. Get on the throttle quite early here, you want to be on the throttle already. And then for this corner, yeah, pretty much you want to have your right hand tires just uh, in, on the inside there of that white line. Then use as much of the track as possible. Pretty much try and have your right hand tires in qualifying on that red sort of like tarmac -y thing there um, just next to the wall. In the race, probably don't want to do that just in case you get wing damage. But in qualifying, you want to make sure that you absolutely send it around this circuit. There's a lot of time to be gained and a lot of time to be lost around here so seventh gear into this next corner this is the end of sector one beginning of sector two just after the 100 meter borders when you want to start breaking break in a straight line now it does look unnatural but as you can see from the darkened patch on the road you pretty much need to break in a straight line for this next corner so even though it does look like you're going to be going off the track because well you kind of are just don't hesitate straight line make sure not to lock up fourth gear for this corner and then use all the track when entry is possible then when you're getting into the, the middle of the corner now you want to use around about this much of the curb you don't want to use too much because the car can bottom out but you want to use just enough so that it helps the car rotate around this corner so you can get your foot on the throttle quite early get your foot on the throttle quite early out on the exit of this corner um use fifth gear for this exit now if you want to open up the car to get throttle down as quickly as possible um that means you're gonna have to use a lot of this exit curb here which you can do so it's completely fine i'm pretty sure i did in my lap um but if you don't then obviously you don't this next corner, 8th gear, obviously you'll have DRS, so it's a pretty pretty heavy braking zone so that you can get the car slowed down. Um, just as you get underneath the bridge, that's when you want to start braking. 8th gear, straight line, quite unnatural again, but still you want to use all the track. 5th uh, gear, then you want to take as much of the curb as possible, which is once again having your left hand tyres and your right hand tyres respectively um, on the inside of the white lines. So you don't invalidate, then use all the exit curb you need, just to make sure you get your foot down properly. And then this next, this next corner now, very tricky uh, hairpin actually. So just as you get to the 100 in seventh gear, brake in a straight line, and then you want to hold on to the brakes way longer than you usually would. Usually by the time you start, you know, turning properly, properly towards the apex, you will probably be off the brakes fully. Not in this case. So third gear, you want to be super smooth with your brake in here because you want to have quite a lot of brake on still just so that you can actually get the car rotated around because it's a lot tighter than it looks on the entry so hold on to the brakes and then boom short shift up the fourth get your foot on the throttle use the the curbing there if needed so that you can get the, the power down quicker and then yeah you're just bombing it down to the most difficult corner now on the on the entire track which is the wall of champions it's called the wall of champions literally because even champions have smashed into this wall that's how difficult this corner is and it's no exception in f122 because on qualifying you have to absolutely send it so for qualifying around about the 80 meter mark here so just after you pass the 100 in eighth gear downshift into fifth gear and then you want to use as much track as possible obviously you can still bomb out obviously you can still invalidate but you need to use it so that you can gain those extra attempts so that you can get that pole position so for the first corner this is what i found is best for the first corner you want to use as much of the the, the curb as possible so pretty much like this much here now you can see that 
as I've gone through over it slowly, it has invalidated my lap. But you will see on the actual hot lap when you go through it normally at normal speeds, it doesn't actually invalidate your lap. And then for this next one, you want to make sure that your right hand tires are on the inside of the white line and then use as much of the track as possible open up drs and that is a lap around canada so what i'm going to do now is show you guys the hot lap make sure to pay attention towards the end of the lap at the wall of champions because as i said even though it just showed us an invalidation there usually when you go over it at full speed it will not show you an invalidation so yeah check it out Now that is how you tackle Canada on F122. Make sure to click here to get to the playlist of all the other track guys I've done up until this point, and I'll catch you guys in my next track guide.